The LER250 off-road layout laser comes with a laser, DTEC receiver, remote control, heavy-duty wall mount with fine adjustment, magnetic ceiling target plate, full set of batteries, and a hard shell case. We have the LER250 off-road layout system, which comes with the laser, DTEC receiver, remote control, heavy-duty wall mount with fine adjustment, magnetic ceiling target, elevated tripod with a ground kit, high-low elevation rod, a full set of batteries, and a hard shell case. Hi, I'm Jason Becker with Stabila. Next tool I'm going to show you is what's called our off-road layout laser. As you can see, it's a pretty big, rugged-looking laser. We took the uh, ruggedness of our, our existing off-road outside laser and put the technical components of a laser that belong on a commercial job site on the inside of it. And what we ended up with was a super durable commercial layout laser. So this laser here does horizontal, it does vertical rotation, and it even does slope on one axis. So it pretty much does everything you could ever need on a commercial job site on a huge, huge range, okay? So some of the reasons why we have some of this cladding on the outside here is to make this super durable because as you know on commercial job sites there's a lot of guys there's a big gang box tools everywhere and the tools take a lot of abuse well this is a precision measuring tool right so on the outside here you can see this uh, rugged design here this rubber everywhere it's not actually the rubber that gives it its durability it's what's underneath it underneath here we have this shock absorbing system called EPP and what that is is it's a, uh, it's a material that's used in even in dashboards of high performance cars to absorb the shock of the body. And it's meant to absorb the shock of the laser when it gets dropped. This laser will even take a six foot drop to concrete and you can pick it up and use it again. Pretty incredible. The next thing that this laser does though is it's dust and waterproof. And uh, the reason why you need a dust and waterproof laser on a job site like this is mostly for the dust. When it comes to all the concrete dust and the drywall dust that would normally be able to get into the laser and damage it, not on this one, it's completely sealed, uh, which what that means in the end is it lasts longer and when you pull it out of your truck you can turn it on and go to work like you need to do. So you pay a little bit more for it, but it lasts longer and you can depend on it all the time, which is really what Stabila does, it designs tools you can depend on for a long time. The next thing it does is it's heat resistant, all right? So there's a couple different ways that it's heat resistant. This one in particular goes up to 122 degrees. Um, and the reason why it's like that is the body right here is aluminum. And so aluminum lets the heat escape out of the laser faster. And then it's also a little bit on the inside how it's, how it's designed. So I'm going to show you a couple different uh, applications you would use it for. And I'm going to kind of walk through some of the process of this laser. So I'm going to mount the laser to the tripod just like this. What I have with me now right now is, is an elevator tripod. And uh, if you want with a full-blown system, this elevator tripod comes with it. What I'm going to show you next is a simple keypad that we built into this laser because we know when there's 35 guys on a job site, it's a lot of guys that train on using a laser. So this one here, you could simply just turn it on and walk away and you're ready to go. And this laser is going to self-level and it's going to self-level within five or six degrees and you can walk away and do your work all day long. But there's something else built into it though that you can't see what's going on. And this laser right now is working on locking into what we call high alert. Gives us about 30 seconds and after we've got it established at the height that we want, when we walk away, after 30 seconds, the laser locks into this high alert. What that means is if I'm walk, uh, off 100 feet away from this laser and somebody walks up and kicks the tripod, that's bad. Because if the, level, if the laser's re-level again, I might be working about an inch lower. So this laser is designed to shut off completely and stay off if somebody kicks the tripod. Now that the, the laser is level and it's spinning, we can start using some of the functions with the remote. The remote can control what we call a scan line. If I push this big button in the middle here, it stops the laser and focuses it on one area here. The reason why we want scan is when we focus it in on one area, you can see the laser easier. Now with this upper button right here, if I push this one and hold it, I can actually make that scan line wider. If I push this upper left hand button, I make it smaller and more focused. Then if I push the big button in the middle again, now I go back and it rotate. Now with those upper buttons right now, I can, I can adjust the speed of the, of the rotation. And it's variable speed, so it's not slow, medium, fast. I can actually adjust it to the exact speed that I want. So if I push that button and hold it, you can see the laser spins even faster. When I'm working inside and I can see the laser beam, I keep it at a decent pace. 
when I work outside with the receiver, I just crank it up as fast as I can because that's what the receivers like to do. The LER 250, the off-road commercial laser, is designed for job sites just like this, both with the rugged design so it can take the uh, kind of abuse that happens on a job like this with multiple guys, and also with the functions that this laser does. One really important application that you do with commercial work is you have to take the layout that's snapped on the ground and you have to transfer it up to the roof deck. So here what we have on this application is we have a chalk line that goes across this foundation down onto the slab and back up into the foundation. And what we need to do is we need to get, to get this layout up there about 30 feet in the air up on that pan deck. So how we do that is with this laser here we have such a simple function on it. All you have to do is turn the laser on, lay it down, and then the laser knows exactly what to do. So I'm going to do it right now. First thing I do is I lay it down on the chalk line, the laser starts to level on its own. As soon as it spins, it's plumb already. So as soon as it spins like that, I need to do a fine adjustment and make sure that that line is lined up, the laser's lined up exactly on my line. So there, right below the laser, my, I'm, I'm lined up right on my layout line. The hard part though, moving forward, is to ensure that the laser that's spinning is lined up on the rest of the line and sometimes the lines are 300 feet long. So the hard part is getting it lined up, and normally it takes two guys. We have a guy on the other end yelling down to me, Jason, move it that way, no, move it back that way, and it, it takes a long time, it's really frustrating. So we've changed how we do that now. The way I'm gonna do it, I can do it all by myself. I use a receiver, and in this case, I have the DTEC receiver that comes with this laser. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk down to the other end of the chalk line, and I've got a black mark that's on the, on the DTEC receiver here that we call dead band. That's zero, right? So I'm going to take that black mark and I'm going to line it right up on the chalk line. So I'm going to walk down there now. So right after I get that the receiver lined up on that chalk line, I'm going to walk on down to the other end again and I'm going to steer the laser into place. This is probably my favorite function on this laser. Back when I was doing commercial work, if I would have had this, I would have been unbeatable. It makes me almost want to go back and do it again. This laser here, I don't have to bend down and move this around at all. I actually just take this, this uh, remote control here and I can steer that laser into place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand down in that chalk line and I can kind of tell what side of the chalk line the laser's on right now. It's telling me that it's on the right side of the, the chalk line right now so I know that I have to steer left. It's as simple as taking that left button and turning it that way. So I'm going to push it until I hear that receiver start to beep. When it starts to beep then, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of tap on that button, which is a fine adjustment, and it's going to move a little bit more. A couple little taps, one more, I went past it. Right there. It's as simple as that. All I did is took that laser line and I steered the whole laser with that remote right there. I don't need that other guy anymore. So now that the laser is lined up on that chalk line, now I know that I can take that chalk line and put it up there. So next thing I would do is I would jump on my lift, go on up there and get to work. The laser is actually doing one more thing that I want to show you. If you look out of the top of the laser here, I have a beam coming out. What that, what that beam is, is a 90 degree beam. No more doing 3, 4, 5 with a tape measure or a large reel tape. All I have to do is I have to take this laser beam here and transfer it down to the concrete here and I've got 90 degrees automatically. Fastest way I've found to do it, I just grab my speed square that I have in my pouch anyways, and I set it down on the concrete, I slide it into place, I, grab, I split the beam in half. It's really easy to do. And then I just take my pencil, mark the edge of the square, I always circle it so I can find it later, and I'm gonna walk down to the other end of the wall there and I'm gonna do the same thing. I just take my speed swear gun, drop it onto the concrete, slide it into place until I see the beam. Right there. I split the beam, I can see it on the edge of the speed square. I do the same thing, I mark the edge of it, circle it, snap my line and we have 90 degrees. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that I wish I had back when I was doing commercial construction. Typically on a commercial uh, job site, you have a laser and maybe a wall mount for doing grid ceiling. You typically don't have a tripod, and uh, the reason is because tripods kind of get in the way. This one's different. It may still have a big wide stance here, but I'm able to mount this tripod anywhere at any height, and I'm going to show you how. First of all, 
If you, if you, uh, with the full system, the full uh, uh, layout system, the tripod comes with it. Built into the tripod is a couple different stages here. We've got a quick stage here for the first 18 inches, and then I've got an elevator. Now what this means is typically you'd use a laser at a height and you'd measure to the, the, the benchmark that you want to go to. Now this kind of system gives us the ability to be able to line up the laser with exactly the work that we're doing and now we don't have simple math problems of going 15 inches, 16 inches, that type of thing. So we can actually get it lined up right with it, right? So this tripod, we can actually get the laser beam up to 10 feet in the air. So if you think about it, the guys that do it for a living, a lot of our light bays and soffits that we build in stores and in office buildings and doctor's offices, all the, the different ceiling work is typically at 10 feet, 9 feet, things like that. Now we don't have to mount it or set it on top of scaffolding and get it knocked over. We've got a sturdy tripod. We can line it right up there. The biggest downfall of tripods, though, is that you can never get the laser mounted low. So what we've developed is a new system here that what we call is we call it the ground kit. If you look at the bottom here, it's a, goof, it's a goofy thing that's on the bottom. I can actually mount this laser underneath the tripod like this. And what that means now is after the laser is level, I can mount this laser at a height of as low as 10 inches or to whatever height that I want. A typical benchmark would be three feet. All you have to do is raise the legs up a little bit, spread them out, and I can raise my laser until I hit my three foot benchmark. The other great thing about this tripod too though, is the legs are protecting the laser. So as people are dropping steel studs, things are happening, my laser is protected. Earlier when we were in that commercial job site and I was showing you the LER 250 that does horizontal and vertical, I also told you that it does one more thing, it does slope. And we call it simple slope, and what we mean by that is our laser will slope in one direction, five, down five degrees, or up in that same direction, five degrees. And the simple part means it stays in that axis. And the opposite axis, the level is always still trying to, uh, the laser is always still going to level. So now that we're outside on a job site, I wanted to quickly show you an example of how the simple slope works. Now keep in mind this is an example because on these kind of job sites that you're doing slope, it's typically over a great distance. I'm going to show you quickly over a short distance how we would lay out the laser to use simple slope. So the first thing that we would do is we're going to turn the laser on. I know it sounds simple, but we got to turn it on and we need to let the laser go in level because we need a, a benchmark to be able to measure from in order to get slope. So when it's in level, I'm going to go out here 10 feet away and we've already marked it out at 10 feet. I'm going to make the receiver level with the laser, okay? So at 10 feet, and I've already put my receiver on zero on a grade rod, keep in mind. So now I'm going to extend my grade rod until I hit zero. Which is right there. So now we have a horizontal plane and I know where level is at. But now I need to go back to the laser and I need to turn on slope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Z button that's on the corner here on a simple keypad. There's only four buttons. I'm going to hit the fourth button. Now the Z's on. Now I'm in slope. Now I go back out to my 10 foot mark and with my remote control, I can control the slope. So typically on underground piping, as an example, the pipe needs to either run at quarter inch per foot or eighth of an inch per foot slope. And what I mean by that is for every foot of run, it needs to go down a quarter of an inch. So simple math on simple slope here is if I'm out 10 feet, I need to go down two and a half inches. So what I would do is I take this DTEC receiver here and I'm going to loosen it up. And I'm going to move it down to two and a half inches. And with our high low rod with the simple numbering system of zero being in the middle, it's easy to find two and a half inches. Next thing I do is I take the remote control and there's a down button on the bottom of the remote. I'm going to push that and steer that laser down until I hit even tone. When I do that, then I know that I'm at quarter of an inch per foot and I can go to work. So I'm gonna do that now. A Little bit more, right there, perfect.